Hello everyone, Sharp Peter 43 once again bringing you all week 2 of the SNDL now. Last week we faced Moral in the Slovenia Slowbros, now we're going to be facing Blazing Squid in the Toronto Totodile once again, so yeah. Remember this guy? Yeah. He's the guy that we faced in the PGL. Um, we faced him twice and he actually did beat us quite convincingly both times, so that's pretty much why I called him the, the bane of my existence from the PGL because if it wasn't for him, I probably would have won the championship in the PGL, honestly. Probably, but I don't know. He was literally the only one that was giving me problems throughout the PGL. Like, he was the only one I had trouble beating, so... He's here as well, because he was one of the only people I could get um, to join this league, so... We're gonna see how we do here. His draft, once again, is pretty damn scary, so... I don't like how that's gonna go. And prepping for him once again was pretty damn difficult, so I don't know what to expect right now. So let's see. Hopefully, hopefully we have something under our belts, but I honestly don't know. Also, I hold on. I don't think this is our team. Hold on, shit. Alright, this is it. This is the team we were gonna bring. So, hopefully this works out. Like, I don't know how well... It, it's the same six months that I used last week, but with different sets, obviously. I don't know how it's going to work out, though, because... Yeah, again, we're playing Blazing Squid, who is a guy who definitely knows what he's doing, and... Who knows? He probably already knows that I'm bringing these months. I don't know. But anyways, here we go. I'm a little nervous. But yeah, as you can see, he's ready as sin. Like, he was like... But, I don't know, man. Anyways, we need Notepad so we can see what he brought. Okay, he brought. Okay, he brought, yeah, just about everything I, I was fearing. I was fearing the Golurk because of the electrical immunity from Zorark, or Zorark, Zera Aura. Sylveon, because Sylveon can hyper voice anything. Megalopony, because it hits a lot of my team really, really hard. Victini, because of its unpredictable set. He did not bring Crobat, which means that Earthquake is pretty, pretty, like, free. But the question, nonetheless, is what do I want to lead with? He could lead Lopony to get a fake out off. Or he can lead with Victini to get a pivot off. So, hmm. Getting rocks up could be useful as well, but he could get rocks up with his gold lurk as well. Hmm. It's hard to tell what I want to lead with. Let's see. We'll try to lead with Incineroar, honestly. We do have Intimidate on this, so if he leads with Lapani, he'll have minus one attack anyway. So, yeah. We'll lead with with um, Incineroar. I don't know what's with me today, but I'm not really feeling very, very like energetic today. I'm actually kind of tired, but we're gonna see. Hopefully, that doesn't end up costing me the battle ball, obviously. So I better be uh, um, wide awake. Okay, so Squiddy, what do you got for me? You got well, I gotta send out first. I'm gonna intimidate with whatever you have. Oh, he has Sylveon. That is kind of annoying, actually. Cause, yeah, this thing can just hyper voice everything. I do have AV, but the question is how well can I take a hit from Sylveon? He doesn't have Armaldo on this team, so that's kind of good. Let's see. Do I want to stay in and just go for the Iron Head? What would he switch into if I went for Iron Head? He could go into my Lodic if he anticipates an Iron Head. We'll go for the... Kind of want to knock off to see what item this thing has. Don't want to risk this thing being like Choice Bets or something. 
I'll just Iron Head, just to see what he does. Oh, he's gonna Baton Pass. Okay. He is faster than my um, Incineroar, because I think mine is actually like not invested in whatnot. Mm. I don't like that I revealed Iron Head already. Because now he can play around this very, very effectively. He does have um, this Flame Orb thingy. Man, I really wish I went for Knockoff, honestly. Yeah, because getting rid of this thing is not going to be easy now at all. Hmm. What do I have on this thing? Slack off. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to see what I can go into. What's what's your? S okay, I can switch into this honestly. Like, what's the worst this thing can do? I really wish I could get rocks up, though. Oh, he also didn't bring Gal... Oh, no, he did bring Galvantula. What the hell am I saying? Yes, he did. He brought Galvantula, so that thing is going to be a problem. Obviously, can't switch into their aura, because if he goes for Scald, then I'll be in trouble, obviously. Hmm. This is really rough, and I don't want this thing to take any damage, so I think I have to go into Clefable, honestly. I don't want to take a Toxic from this Melodic either, honestly, so I'm just going to Clefable. And just take a Scald. Yeah, he does go for Scald straight up. If he burns me, I have Magic Card and it doesn't really affect me, so... What does he switch in on this, though? That's the real question. Hmm. Yeah. This Melodic can be annoying, honestly. It can be really, really annoying, actually. But what we can do is... Hmm. I'm a Moonblast. Black Widow. Two hit KO, but then he gets his Sticky Webs up for free. And personally, that's not what I want. Like, at all. Let's see. What happens if he gets his sticky webs up right now? Say I KO him right now with another Moonblast. Hmm. I KO him with a Moonblast. If he, if he um, goes for sticky webs. He could then bring in probably Golurk and then set up. Or even Victini. I would have to let something go down, honestly, which is really annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just go for the Moonblast. Hopefully, I don't regret this decision. We're gonna go for the Moonblast. Oh, he's gonna Volt Switch. Well, shit. I think he goes into, um, what's it called? Kid Flash, yeah. Stan Victini. Special attack fell, but I can't help but feel that this is maybe just maybe. He went for Volt Switch though, not Sticky Web, so... What I want to know now is if he goes for a U-turn right here. I'm going to, like, go for... Incineroar, I'll Intimidate. I lowered his special attack too, so... I'm going to Incineroar real quick. Let's see. Let's see if he goes for U-turn. Yeah, he's gonna be doing this pivoting strategy that freaking Root did with me in the ICBA. He's just gonna, uh, like, pivot around me endlessly. But Tom Pass with Sylveon, U-turn with, um, freaking... He's gonna go into Golurk. This thing could definitely have the freaking, um... 
This thing could definitely have the freaking the the Cobra berry to prevent me from knocking it off and whatnot. Which I kinda don't want honestly. Okay, what do I switch in? No, not Skarmory, obviously. Or, yeah, maybe. Only problem is that this thing is what I need to take hits from Sylveon. I don't want him to Earthquake, so... He could get his rocks up, though, which would be annoying, though. If he goes for rocks, we just defog. Stealth rocks. I don't want him, I don't want rocks. Because that'll just mess us up big time, so... But he does have rocks, so we gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna defog, so we don't have these rocks up. He will go into Victini, most likely, but if he does that, then... We switch into Incineroar. If he goes for rocks again, we'll keep defogging until, you know... He does have the he does have thunder punch though, which is annoying. And we do need damage on this thing. We do need damage on this thing. I want to go for roost, but the problem is that if he goes for earthquake, we'll be in trouble, obviously. How do we do this, actually? This is rough. This is rough because... Like, I still need to take out that Lopini. And this thing is kind of one of the only things that I need to take it out. I also need Incineroar for Victini because otherwise I don't really have much for that either. I'm a Brave Bird for damage. Because another thing is that we need to get damage on this Golurk. If we lose Skarmory, we'll lose it. But yeah, this guy is already putting me in a terrible position. I am getting recovery with this though. If he stays with his rocks, what do we get out of it? Well, not a whole lot of my team cares about rocks. The only thing that does is Incineroar. If I go for Braver right now, I do lose the Skarmory though, which means I won't be able to get rid of my rocks. Hmm. This is a really tough one. What do I have in this Slow King? I have Rocky Helmet on this. Okay. So. Would I dare go for the Roost right now? Or would I dare go for the Brave Bird again? If I go for the Brave Bird again. Oh my god. The only concern I have with this is if he ends up having like a Figgy Berry on this thing. And gets his HP back. But there's really not a whole lot I can switch this thing into either, honestly. Hmm. This is a rough one. Only way we can find out if, he, if he's figure very or not is if we braver. So we're gonna have to braver and stay with the rocks, honestly. It's gonna suck, honestly. Because he's gonna leave us very vulnerable to the Victini. Just, yeah. Just. We're gonna lose Skarmory, though. Or not. Okay, good. Now here, what we want to do for sure now, before he takes our Skarmory out, defog these rocks, honestly. We gotta make sure he doesn't get them. But he will get Sticky Webs up later. Black Widow.
He's gonna get his sticky webs up, honestly. I feel. If he gets sticky webs up right now, though, he can give me a free roost right here. Because for me personally, the sticky webs is what's worse here. You can also just Volt Switch. Right now, the Garchomp can't really run house because the Milotic is um, freaking Marvel scale. And it's going to eat up any hit very, very easily. Only thing that can do anything to it right now is the... Is the Zera Aura, but only after it sets up, which is really, really annoying. He could Volt Switch too. Dare I go for the freaking switch into Zero Aura? The Lapini will give me issues later. He could Volt Switch too. <clears throat> we'll just stay in and Roost. Roost. If he goes for Volt Switch. Yeah, oh no, he went for Sticky Waves. Okay, that's particularly what I was afraid of. Honestly. What I want to know is if he has Bug Buzz on this thing. Okay, so this thing gets to be healthy, which is good. But the problem now is that he can definitely Volt Switch. And I do need to find a way to get rid of these damn Sticky Waves. This is gonna be rough. Because he could Volt. Well, if he. Okay, fine. We'll see if he actually goes for Volt Switch. If he has um, Hidden Power Ice or something, then whatever. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. My question is, do I want to go for the the Plasma Fist here? Or do I want to set up in its face? He will switch out, I feel. like, But I don't know if he's into Golurk or into Sylveon, perhaps. Hmm. Let's see what happens. We're gonna go for the... It's cause Throat Chop is not gonna KO, honestly. We'll just go for Throat Chop. He's actually carrying Toxic on this? Ew. I don't like that. And annoyingly enough, this doesn't even KO. Okay. Well, that's annoying. So he has Toxic, Volt Switch, Sticky Webs. Toxic, Volt Switch, Sticky Webs. Could, well, he can't Bug Buzz me now. He can only hit me with Hidden Power Ice. Now, my biggest fear here... I think I'm gonna go for Plasma Fist just in case he switches into into Milotic. 
If he goes in the goal lurk, this man is psycho. He went in the goal lurk. Bro, I could have taken this thing out. I'm angry. I'm angry. Could have gone for the, 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 what's it called? And I could have taken this thing out probably. But now, this guy puts me in a really, really bad position. Really bad position. Man, cycle. How the hell is he gonna go into Golurk? My question is, do I outspeed a Golurk? Because I don't think this thing is max speed invested either. What's the speed of this Aurora? 206. Hold on a second. I need to count this, honestly. Zera Aura. Let's just say mix attack, it doesn't matter, I just need to see the speed differences. I had it like a 206 or some shit. So like a, okay, 206. 206 and then Goal Lurk. Goal Lurk. Could be adamant, but like, let's just see if it's all speeds or not. Okay, Sticky Webs lowers my speed by one stage. I can still outspeed it. Oh, um, let's see. Oh, god damn it, god damn it, we're jelly. I still outspeed it. Okay, good, 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 good. That's what I wanted to see. Should outspeed it then, even after minus one. Okay, he's gonna switch around just to mess around with me. Kid Flash, okay, that's fine. Get some damage at least. Get some nice damage, please. This thing is not being funny with me right now. Okay. So no rocks from his part. Okay. That's good. Alright. <sighs> okay. Now my concern is what what's he gonna try to go for here? Is he scarfed? Is he gonna U-turn on me? Honestly, what I want right now is my rocks. If he U-turns, I can go into Guard Chomp, but the problem is that, um... But if he goes for U-turn, then I should be able to take it fine, I feel. Okay, we're, we're just gonna go into Guard Chomp. Because if he U-turns, he'll be punished and will be weakened even further. I'll take Sticky Webs though, which is annoying. I hate that I have to deal with Sticky Webs again though. That did a lot of damage, even though that move wasn't stabbed. Is this thing banded? This guard jump isn't bulky or anything, but like, that's a U-turn from a Victini. It's not even stab. I don't see a lot of U-turns doing this much damage to guard jump. He could go into Sylvia now, though, honestly. And he's definitely in a good position to just go for it. He can go into Sylvian or Milotic right now. Or even Megalopony. The Megalopony right now is, is a problem. If he goes into Lopony though, my switching is definitely um, sloking 100% of the time. God, I'm, I'm so nervous for this battle because, like I said, Squiddy is a really, really good battle. Battler? Battle. <laughs> is a good battler, but um, yeah. And I've already lost to him twice, very convincingly. So, I'm just kind of afraid of him beating me again, honestly. But, but it could happen, honestly. And if it happens, it will happen. But I'm really, really trying for it not to happen. But I'm getting so nervous because, like, I'm afraid that he'll just somehow manage to beat me. It could be good that I lose to him now, though. Just because if I do, then that means if we make playoffs, we can actually have a chance to beat him next time. Okay, but he is going to go into Sylvia, which is fine with me. He knows I have Throat Chop too, which is annoying. Question is, is this thing fast? And if it is... If it is fast... Hmm. 
I want to get my rocks up because I think Galvantula goes down after rocks and he doesn't have his defogger like he, in fact he doesn't have any hazard remover so if I get my rocks up but then I'll have to defog later no the only fear I have here is if the Sylveon ends up preventing me from taking the rocks off honestly I want to switch in Skarmory, but my concern with the Sylveon right now is that he has, um, is that he has, um, what's it called? The, the hidden power fire for my Skarmory. Or he could predict me to switch out Baton Pass into Galvantula, preventing me from getting my rocks off. Hmm. I could also go for the damage on the... I could just go for the damage too, honestly. I won't get rocks up, but a lot of his team will be weakened. But if I lose Garchomp, that would be kind of bad. I'm gonna just switch into. I'll switch into the Skarmory. I'll switch into the Skarmory. Hopefully, he doesn't have Hidden Power Fire. If he specs, that'll be kind of interesting though. Hyper Voice, okay. Is the specs. I can take it well. What I want to do personally is get rid of these sticky webs though. So what I'm going to do right now is the fog. Hopefully this Sylveon isn't hitting power fire though. Or like hopefully it specs so that way I can just uh, the fog for free. He might hard switch into uh, Galvantula once again to try to get sticky webs up. But if he does that then he'll just give me a good chance to beat him honestly. Okay, he he is he's not specs. Ah, damn it! I couldn't get rid of the the sticky webs, which sucks. I wanted to get rid of the sticky webs. Now I'm stuck with them. <clears throat> Let's see. He doesn't have rocks up yet, but. That can obviously change. And he hasn't lost a single Mon yet. Oh boy. Okay, so I think I lose now at this point because I needed these sticky webs off. God, I hate that I have to deal with sticky webs again. I need to get my rocks up though. But if I do that now with Sylvia on here, it won't be easy. The Slow King is also not physically, um, it's not specially defensive either. This is really annoying actually. What do I go into? I guess Clefable? Shit. I guess Clefable? He could switch into Milotic or he can just stay in and go for Hyper Voices. Nonetheless, I, I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave just to slow this Sylveon down. Because the problem now is that this Sylveon is now faster than a lot of my team. And it doesn't need to be that way. I could just Thunder Wave this thing. If he switches into Golar, we Moonblast immediately. Just take it out, honestly. We, we just don't want this thing to mess around. Why does this do so much damage, though? I could lose this Clefable right now, actually. Because it, it was already faster than me. This Clefable does not have any speed investment. Sylveon. I'm just going to assume it's Specs or something. Even though it's clearly not Specs, but let me see how much if I can even outspeed this thing. No speed investment, obviously. Sticky Web's lowering my speed by a stage. This thing being paralyzed. Paralyzed. Max speed investment. 
if it's max speed investment, he outspeeds me and takes my um, Clefable out, which is annoying. But what do I need Clefable for anyway? Probably just for my Lodic now. But my Lodic outspeeds me. Ugh. If this Sylveon is speed invested, it just outspeeds me. And gets away with all kinds of shit. But I can't switch out either. Although, eh, you know what I also need this thing for? Well, actually, I, ha I have um, Sloking for Mega Lapinate, but the problem is that he still has that Golurk, which can't be reduced to speed by anything because it, it just can't. I don't have Skarm... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I'm going to just switch in. Damn. <sighs> this might have been a bad switch too because this thing actually is minus speed nature. I just remembered. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this. Yeah, oh my god. I'm gonna need this thing to get paralyzed, but if if that doesn't happen then we're kinda kinda get, gonna get in for it. Oh my god, this guy. I kind of want to knock off what its item is, honestly. Just knock off its item. It, it, he could switch into my Lodic, but that's fine. Does a lot of damage. Gets crippled. Good to know he's not leftovers, though. Problem now is that he could just switch into... He can go for Scald, obviously. Take out my Incineroar that way. Dude, but my... <sighs> Nothing is safe right now. I, I told you, this guy might 6-0 me too. I want to stay in U-turn just so I can get the hell out of here without having to worry about him predicting me. Hmm, that stupid Sylveon also didn't take any damage, which is annoying. I'm going to try to switch in Clefable and hope for God's sake that it doesn't do too much damage. Because if it does, I think we just lose this, honestly. Or hopefully he recovers. Man. Okay, Dragon Tail. He tries to Dragon Tail me. That's fine. I get some recovery from Leftovers. And now I get to um, Soft Boiled. Yeah, because Jesus, man. His Milotic will be full HP too, but he's burned and can still be withered down a little bit. Okay, he's going to Scald. It shouldn't do too much damage at all. This Clefable might be my win condition, even though it can't really do much to Sylveon or my Lodic right now. His Victini is weakened. I, I just... I'll be honest with you. I kind of need to get those rocks up, honestly. Because the rocks will get rid of Victini. And it will also get rid of the Galvantula. Once those two are gone, we just need to handle Megalop. And then um, from there, we kind of need to wall the hell out of... Um, of um Sylveon and Milotic. If I can keep Incineroar alive, we can just spam Iron Head. Assuming we can outspeed Sylveon though, because that's the only thing I'm not sure of. But um let's see. Yeah, because my um my Zerara can outspeed um Sylvia now. But the problem is that it's not in a position to actually just get away with KOing anything right now. Hmm. If I go for Moonblast, what is it switching? Victini's kind of down right now. So if he does switch out, what would it be into? Galvantula, perhaps? 
If he goes for recover... Let me just go for Moonblast just to see what he wants to do. We can lower its special attack too with Moonblast and then switch into something so it doesn't take it too harsh. Yeah, it does a decent amount and its special attack just got lowered. Right now he doesn't have a lot of switch-ins. His Galvantula is weakened I think. Yeah, it's weakened, and so is his Victini, so that's kind of good. If I can get those damn rocks, though, that would be wondrous. We're gonna Moonblast again. Okay, he's gonna switch out, but into what? Sylveon, okay. Lowering Sylveon's Hyper Voice would be good, too. Finding out if this thing can outspeed on um, the Sylveon will paralyze is also another important thing. My oh my concern with this thing is if it's if it has wish. If this thing has wish, we'll have problems actually. Paralyzed. Uh just spam Moonblast. Honestly spam Moonblast. Because I think it only takes two more hits to take out the Sylveon. Yeah. Okay, he's paralyzed. Now he can't wish. He can't wish. Good. That's kind of what I wanted, honestly. My only concern now is what set is that Victini? What set is that goddamn Victini? And I want my rocks up because those rocks will get rid of those two fucking mons. If I get the moon blast off right now, I'll just I don't know. His his what's it called will still be weakened, so we'll just send in this. Or we'll just go for moon blast. Just take out this damn Sylveon. This Sylveon was being problematic already. How dare you have hidden power fire for my Skarmory? Now I don't have it. Oh my god. Okay, Sylveon's gone. He can still win this, it just depends on what other, what are, what are his moves on his mons. If he goes into Lopunny, we switch into Slowbro. Mega Slowbro. Because Slowbro was actually designed for that Lopunny anyway. He can't wish anything. That was the thing I needed, for him not to wish anything. Okay. We could still lose this though, don't, don't get me wrong, he still has sticky webs up. And if my mons are weakened and he uh, matches up with the right mons appropriately, he can still bring this back with either Megalopony or... Hmm, I just need to get rid of his Megalopony. This thing... Problem with this thing is that... He could be trying to just get the rocks up too, honestly. The little... This little schmuck. He'll get the rocks up and then he'll bring in... Maybe Megalopony? Hmm. This is a tough one. Yeah, he's gonna get his rocks up too. Because crippling me down will be very, very important for him. Not to mention a lot of my mods can't stick around for too long either. Hmm. I'm going to go for Moonblast because I'm at full HP and... Th these things don't... Oh shit, my mic. These things can't... Golurk, let me look at Golurk. Golurk doesn't have a steel type move for this thing, does it? Golurk. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's boosted by Iron Fist anyways. Because that's the scary thing about Thunder Punch is that it's Iron Fist boosted. Oh, it could have Heavy Slam, though. It could have Heavy Slam. Ah. Uh, it could have Heavy Slam, actually. Oh, boy. Do I switch out into what, though? Not a whole lot to switch into. 
I'll switch in the guard jump. God damn it. It's because I'm afraid of heavy slam. If he has ice punch on this thing, we'll rip us, honestly. Ugh. Oh, he went for Cell Rock. Okay, fuck. That's kind of bad because that means we could have just taken out this Golurk too. And we would have been golden. Okay. Although right now I think he switches into Milotic. But I think we just go for Earthquake. He goes into Milotic. This thing is relatively healthy annoyingly enough. critical hit for whatever that's worth but um yeah the burn was gonna i feel like it was gonna put him in range to for another earthquake okay if i earthquake this mylotic and take it out right now what would he go into afterwards probably megalopony yeah probably megalopony Yeah, probably Megalopony. And honestly, I can't get rid of this Garchomp until I get my rocks up. But if I let this Milotic live right now, he'll he'll recover and then he'll never die. We need to get rid of both of his walls too, honestly. I see that's the problem. We need to get rid of his walls. Yeah, okay. We got rid of Milotic and Sylveon. The last thing we need to get rid of to feel safe right now is the Megalopony. Once Megalopony is out of the way, there's a very good chance we win this. But if not, then yeah, we're going to have problems. I think he brings Lopany now, though. Lolita, here he comes. No, and here's the worst part. If he's actually like Power Up Punch or something, we could just go down straight up here. Which is why I'm tempted to just go for the... Um, Let's see how we how we put this. Yeah, cause this little, this um megalopony because it's sticky webs, it's clearly not going to be of the um. It is clearly not going to be of the um. It's not going to be of the how do you put it the. It's not going to be of the. Fake outing variety. It's gonna be power up punch most likely. Power up punch with last resort even. But looking at his team, I don't think I need the Incineroar that much since Victini can kind of just take it out from here anyway. Especially now that he has the rocks up. Not to mention, we can neutralize this thing's attack if he goes for power up punch with Intimidate. Because I'll be whitt whittled by rocks and then go down to power up punch. So I think this is the play. Yeah, look at that. And then power punch. If he goes for substitute, that'd just be annoying, honestly. Okay, he just went for return. That's fine. That is actually really, really fine. Okay. He went for return. This also tells me that he maybe just maybe doesn't have Ice Punch either. Unfortunately, I can't go for Rocks on this though, because this thing will take me out actually. So unfortunately, I do have to go for this. And since he's at minus one attack, and his only remaining Mon really is just, um, what would he switch into though? He would sack... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, for one thing, he's gonna switch out for sure. Zera Aura, because of Sticky Webs, doesn't really do much except take out maybe the Galvantula, because the Galvantula is still kind of annoying, honestly. Unless he sacks that right now. If 
if he switches Megalopony and sacks, um, go. this is really gonna depend on what he sacks because he's not gonna let Lopony stay here, honestly, at all. He's gonna sack either Victini, Golurk, or Galvantula. They're all weakened, so yeah. What would he sack? Is the real question here. Scald. What if I just scald? Maybe I can get the burn. Oh, he has Thunder Punch on this too. Well, damn. But it doesn't do anything. Oh, damn. It doesn't do anything at all. Oh, right, because he's, he's at minus one attack. I forgot. My dumbass. Okay. He could switch out right here. And... Oh, I don't know. See, this is the thing I'm afraid of right now. Okay, okay, okay. I think even with a crit, I can still live this. Okay, if he switches out right here, he could go into Galvantula. If he goes into Galvantula, we'll sack off. We'll sack off. He's gonna go into Galvantula, probably. Black Widow? Yeah. Okay. Now here, we can go into two things. We can either go into... We can go into... That's a good question. What are we going to? Well, both of his walls are gone. So really, uh, we just need those damn rocks, honestly. Those damn rocks will get rid of this Galvantula and that Victini. He had Toxic, he had Volt Switch, and he had um, Sticky Whips. What is that last move? Could it be Bug Buzz? Or Hidden Power Ice? We'll go into Clefable here, because honestly, the only thing it can really do is Toxic, honestly. Clefable doesn't take anything from anything here. He will Volt Switch and then most likely go into Golurk. Toxic, it doesn't matter because I'm Magic Guard anyway. Here, I believe, I believe I'm free to just go for anything. So here, we just moon blast, I believe. Crazy thing is that even though that I got all that RNG in my favor with the paralysis on the Sylveon, he can still win this gastro acid, so that he actually, so that I actually get affected by toxic. But I can easily just switch out on that. Right now, I'm just getting rid of this Galvantula because this Galvantula needs to screw off, honestly. Okay. Now I'm affected by Toxic, which is annoying. I still don't know what set this damn Golurk is, which is annoying. But given what's left of his team... Maybe, just maybe. Damn. This is really, really rough. Like, I don't know what to go into. This thing could have, um... He, he went for Stealth Rock last time, dude. Thunder Punch is also there on the cards, too. Okay. I guess we Moonblast? Jeez, I don't know. Heavy Slam? He only went for Earthquake, okay. Can we live this Earthquake? Yeah, we can live it. Okay, good. Unfortunately, we are going to get Withered down, though. But it doesn't die anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Okay, this is not a matter of walling this thing out anyway, because his Victini can still break through us anyway. So really, the only thing we can do here is... Oh, I don't know. 
If we let this thing go down, we bring in Zero Aura for sure. Man, but this this Golurk will still be a problem. Either way, we can't switch around because if he goes for Ice Punch right here or something, we just lose. Um, what's it called? So we're just gonna stay in. Okay, he's gonna take us out, but we're gonna go into Guard Chomp and. Hmm. That's the question. Do we go into? Do we? Do we finish up with Garchomp? Or do we have to go into Slow King here? Because we can also finish this off with Garchomp. Because look. If we... Hmm, it's because this is a rough one. If we send in Garchomp and finish this thing off, he brings in Megalopony for sure. If he has Ice Punch, I think he will take us out. Because he'll outspeed us because Sticky Waves. And then we have to send in Slow King. Both of which are immune to, um, what's it called? But if he's choice, hmm, U-turn will be a problem, so... Yeah, U-turn will be a problem. U-turn will be a problem for Slowking. But I have Rocky Helmet on it. So he will get punished. Do I want to finish this off with Garchomp or, Slo or um, Zera Aura? Uh... If I send in Zero Aura, he'll send in Lapani and then go for Return. If I could go for Garchomp, I think he goes into Lapani regardless. It's just a matter of what do I want to lose first. I guess going to Lap. Uh, we're gonna go into this. We're gonna go into this. Cause look, if he wants to be fancy and predict my my um, if he wants to be fancy and predict my um, my um my throat chop right now he can but he'll take more damage in the process okay and he can't switch in Mega or victini because if he does then he'll lose victini too i think he loses golurk here unless something magical happens he ends up outspeeding me somehow which i hope isn't the case okay good you see, I told you he had that that Cobra Berry. I told you he had that damn Cobra Berry. Now it's gonna come down to what do we take out first, the, or what can we take out first? I also don't know what set this Victini is. Okay, one thing I know for certain here though is that yeah, we can't get the rocks up. That's the thing. He could have fire or power punch still. He hasn't revealed it yet, but he could have it. Doesn't matter. We switch into this thing anyway. If thunder punch didn't do that much, then I don't think return will either, honestly. Return, okay. That did a lot, honestly. So this uh, this Lapin is clearly adamant. This Zera Aura can really do anything, though. I think I... Okay, we're gonna switch in Zero Aura here. Because, I don't know. I, I need to get the Regenerator. Maybe I shouldn't... Maybe I should have let it go down, honestly. Maybe I should have let Zero Aura go down earlier. Yeah, I should have let go... Uh, yeah, because... The rocks might still screw me over, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna take some rocks damage, obviously. Okay. If 
If I Skull, I take this out, but then I'll take a lot of damage in the process. Oh. oh boy. I don't know. Man, I could lose this. Because look, I can recover stall, but then he, if he gets a crit, he just wins. Okay, we'll just skull then. Fine, jeez. We'll scald and hope for God he doesn't crit us. If he crits us, he wins. He wins straight up. Even then, I think he could still win if his Victini is scarred. If it's banded, no, I think even if it's banded, it still outspeeds. It'll just come down to what his final move is. If he has Glaciate on his Victini, he wins. If not, we might have a chance to beat him still. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. I think he's thinking of switching out, predicting me to just try to re like recover stall him. But no. Okay, he's gonna stay in return. Tell me that he was not just given the crit of the blessing. Good, 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 good. Cause god damn. Now what's gonna come down to is what that moves or what's the final move on this Victini. Or if I can even outspeed this thing. Hold on. Let me look at Garchomp real quick. This Garchomp, let's see. Garchomp. Offensive Stealth Rocks. I should have put Scarf, honestly. 50. Choice Scarf. One sixty-eight speed. Victini. If Victini Scarfed, he would have to lock himself into Glaciate. Which I don't think takes out what's it called? Uh which I don't think takes out um Sloking, so Psychic Might, yeah, Psychic Might. Okay. Okay, hold on. Before I click any move, if this is banded, fifty. I know I outspeed it, but with sticky webs up, lowering my speed by one stage. Uh it seems like I do. I, it seems like I do, but only if it's this thing is not scarfed. So I think we do stay in and see what it locks itself into. Or should we or should we slack off in case he goes for Glaciate? If he goes for Bull Strike. If he goes for Grass Nod. If he goes for Calm Mind. Well he kills me nonetheless, so we'll just slack off. V create, okay, yeah, no. It's V create. I think Garchomp could take one. Not to mention the speed goes down. God. The speed fell okay so now i outspeed it with garchomp regardless oh and Ro rocky helmet right never mind so he does take out my my victini but or my uh, sloking but his victini goes down anyway okay i am going to say up front right now that yes i did in fact get lucky there to win this battle but look how close this damn battle was like yeah he would have won this if he managed to get that wish off with sylvian and didn't get paralyzed multiple times but honestly against somebody of squiddy's caliber i'll take it honestly because yeah dude i didn't want to start the season getting blown the hell back by squiddy honestly i love squiddy but i did not want to just go out like that honestly honestly yeah because jeez, dude yeah i know he had that he had that for certain he definitely had that because yeah he had the sticky webs up, he had the rocks up. All he needed was just to get some wish up so like so he can pass to Victini and keep him healthy. But now that wasn't the case, so Whew. we won, one no. I, I knew this battle was going to be intense, and I knew that prepping for it was gonna be rough. And in fact he did out prepare me in a lot of areas, honestly. So yeah. Jeez. 
And you know what the worst part is? This battle is like was so intense. This could have very well have been the finals battle of this league. But unfortunately, that was not the case. This is just the beginning. And we have to... Um, if we make playoffs, we do have to potentially brace ourselves for b battling Squid this time around. And there, he could redeem himself. Because honestly, the team that I brought was literally all I could bring against them. And if he brings a more optimized team, which I don't think it can be any more optimized than that, honestly. So it would literally just come down to outplaying him again. And that's not going to be easy against Squiddy. Because Squiddy is a very, very intense battler, honestly. So, yeah. So, jeez. But yeah, again, RNG did ma um, play a factor in there. And I am glad I won because I didn't want to lose, honestly. But I'll admit that, yeah, if it wasn't for that those paralysis that happened on Sylveon, preventing him from possibly wishing and then Baton passing into um, his weakened mons, whether it be Galvantula or Rattini, he could have had a better shot at winning this. Probably even factually winning this. But yeah, I'm honestly relieved that the RNG kicked in for us this time. But we may not be lucky next time if we have to face him again. So yeah, but damn, that was that was an intense battle. And like I said, we take those because again, it's a lot better to win with RNG in your favor than to lose with RNG in your favor because that's honestly embarrassing. So yeah, but anyways, thank you all for watching week two of the um, SNDL there. Uh, GG to Blazing Squid as always. He could have beaten me, obviously, if he um, didn't get paralyzed with that Sylveon, but he did. And honestly, again, we just take those. Uh, I'm pretty convinced if he ends up, if I have to face him again, he'll most likely redeem himself. But I'm kind of hoping that's not the case. And hopefully next time I can actually prepare better for him and actually try to beat him for reals this time. Because I kind of want to win the championship this time, this season. But I don't know. Again, this league is not free, unfortunately. Like, there's only eight coaches in this league. But... All these opponents are not free by any means they're all very very powerful and any of them beating my ass can really just put me in a situation where i'm not um like eligible for playoffs and even if i make the playoffs i could just lose the first round right out of the gate and not even go any further than that and yeah this league it's it's small but it's stacked like it's full of intense battlers who are just very very competitive in nature because I, I, I've said several times that I personally, I don't consider myself to be a hardcore competitive battler. I'm actually more along the lines of semi-competitive, semi-casual, basically. Because um, I don't really like to do that over-analytical stuff like, you know, watch other people's videos and understand their tendencies. But I feel like these people do, in fact. And that's kind of what scares me a lot about having to face these guys. Is that they tried so hard to understand my tendencies and I'm just like, uh what do i do like i don't want to do the same thing honestly it's just not my style honestly but yeah anyways enough of my talking i'm talking way too much more than necessary i'll catch you guys for week three whenever we, whenever we get to it geez i can't talk either but for now just take it easy and have yourselves a damn good one